We're live. Bersh All right, great. Hi, Bersh guys. Bersh Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Sandra Gonzalez with Mashable, here with Matthew Perry and Thomas Lennon, who just live tweeted an episode of The Odd Couple on Mashable Entertainment. Thanks for doing that, guys. Of course. Our pleasure. <sighs> yes, the crowd is roaring. Mm -hmm. um, what people maybe didn't see was, <clears throat> Thomas, that you just have like the fastest typing fingers I've ever seen in mm -hmm. my life. I, I can type really, really fast. He's our typer. Yeah. He's, your He's our typist. typist. I type for the, for the both of us. Yeah. 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 No, that was really, really impressive. Um, the other thing that I was kind of just like, I was being like creepy, but watching you all is so like wonderful to watch because you all get along so well. Like, I guess sometimes working in entertainment, you don't realize, like, you sometimes assume, oh, these people look great on screen, but they yeah. don't really get along in, in real life. We they got very lucky. There is did. not a jerk in the group. Everybody <laughs> is really nice. We get along really well. People would throw up if they knew how often we hang out together and have dinner and it's really cute we all have lunch together and we share chips and stuff we watch the show together yeah it's kind yeah. of annoying yeah i, I think it's yeah. adorable it's yeah. so nice but you all have a history together i was, we, I was uh, you have like we, we did, did a major feature film we together. met together on a movie. friends for exactly. a while too yeah. like mm -hmm. and we met on a movie called uh 17 again starring zach efron right and uh my biggest hit yeah was it yours uh no you it's been not my biggest hit but it, it's my biggest role in a hit Oh, my, my biggest hit. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a tiny role. Like, I'm a Transformers 4. Oh, somehow. that's big. Huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's and Batman. Different. Yeah. All the Batman movies. I'm in one, one not all of them. I'm in one of the Batman movies. I yeah. just say all of them. Let's, I'm in all of them. He's in all of them. He plays Batman's <laughs> doctor. Can, there's no way to check that, so that's fine. He does. He plays Batman's doctor. Yeah. All right, what's your next question? So, next question. So I want to ask a little bit about the episode that we just saw. We obviously had a huge cameo. How did you mm -hmm. all line that up? With Regis Feldman, well, and Weird Al too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would call Couple. that. I would call both of them. Yes, huge Regis Feldman pretty much gets us New York. Yeah, yeah. Regis. Uh, I, I will say uh, that the concept of uh, the last Flasher in New York was actually my idea. Really? Which I pitched to Bob Daly, yeah, who uh, runs the show. But I was like, what if there's a sweet old guy, and what you don't know about him <laughs> is he's there to flash everybody, <laughs> and. Uh, so yeah, I was excited, but I didn't really get to hang out with him because that's all those. Yeah, no, he was yeah. great. He was hilarious, really, really funny. He came up with funny stuff on his own. He was terrific. He was game for, for yeah, being he, a flasher he too. Was, yeah. Everybody loves being a flasher. And Weird Al is one of my best friends, so that it was not such a surprise to like meet him or anything. But we're we're what do you call close. him? I call him Al. Not weird. No. Here's the weird thing about Weird Al. Oh. Oh. One of the least weird. Of my friends. Really? Maybe the normalist. <laughs> really? Yes. Wow. He's the one who's really got his act together. So it's a strange name for yeah, him. Yeah, some folks I know are pretty weird. Yeah. Wow. So if he ever tries to like be more true to himself, he'll be like totally normal Al. He would be uh, exactly normal Al, yeah. Or well adjusted, <laughs> yeah. well adjusted, <laughs> mentally healthy Al is kind of basically what he is. All right. Um, I thought tonight's episode was super strong. I'd say it was it was up there with my favorites. Like I remember the the Eric episode was one of my favorites also. I thought mm -hmm. that one was really well done. With what Aaron are some Hayes. of your favorites that you've done so far this season? Uh, my favorite uh, one, I, I really like the first episode, and I really like the last episode, the one that's on next week. Uh, May 14th. Yeah. I really like that one. So it's a good sign for the show that one of my favorite episodes is the last one. It means they keep getting better and better. Right. Um, talk to me a little bit about that because All I right. feel like your chem <laughs> I feel like your chemistry was great from the beginning. But how has it changed, like behind the scenes? You all obviously went into it ha having a friendship and this stuff. But mm. have you seen it like just grow on set? Have you have things? Yeah, evolved? it's like everything else in the world. The more often you do something, the better you get at it, and the more often this cast gets to work together, the better they get together. So you know that's why we're looking forward to a season two. Huh? It's huh? really. I Gosh, I really hope we get picked up. If, if by the way, if, any, if CBS is in hanging out in this hangout, just call. We're standing by. Yeah, just I got my phone up. on me. Yeah, my phone. Great if the phone. My rang. phone is right here, and I know you have the number because you've yeah. called. You've called on occasion. What are we ranked in? in 12th? Twelfth ranked. Twelfth highest ranked TV show on television. And that was when we're low. Sometimes we're higher than that. Yeah, anyway. we've been top five. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're standing by. So we're standing by to get picked up. New comedy too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the number one new comedy. How do you cancel that? How do you cancel that? Oh, um, but we're two. actually <laughs> <laughs> we're actually here at CBS after this. We should go to knock on some doors. It's a great idea. Do some I should. Or streak the hallways and we become legends. Right, that's true. Maybe people in like, the hallways be like, "Was that the odd call?" I could go into <laughs> streaking. I could go into their offices and, on my knees and beg. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be streaking by in the I hallway. I basically did the phone Woo! call version of that last week. <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, well, no, true crazy. story. Oscar came in and got out of things. And in the background, I'm pretty sure Felix ran by fully nude out in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> they will never forget us. Well, you 
all have have such impressive resumes. Um, but what makes this project special? Why, like, why would you, uh, from just from your acting perspective, be like, I really want to do this? Again. Like, I was I a to. giant fan of the movie The Odd Couple. Big fan of the TV show, and I love the character of Oscar Madison. So mm -hmm. I thought it'd be really fun to play him. Mm -hmm. And it's been 40 years since the original TV show went off the air. So I thought it was time. And then we got a great Felix. And we got a great cast around us, and it all kind of came to fruition really nicely. Yeah. That's the other thing about the show that is hard to stress, that every other person, Wendell Pierce and Lindsay Sloan and Yvette Nicole Brown, all of these people could be carrying their own TV show, basically. So mm -hmm. it's it's basically, if you were to get first pick of like a comedy team of people that you wanted to have in a show, it would be the people you would pick. So. And they, they're everybody's so nice, too. Yeah. It's just great. You all have such a wonderful ensemble. Um, what would you like to see in season two when it gets picked up? We're going to say when. Okay. Because we're going <laughs> to. Here's, uh, I'll, I'll tell you this. I haven't told all you right. this yet, but I think Yvette mm -hmm. should be vying for Oscar's job Great. next season. I, like that. I think that she should want to be, to have Oscar's job. That would give Yvette more to do. Mm -hmm. And is I think it, she needs some more to do. Is there any reason why Felix would be having a sort of tumultuous and very like uh, Fifty Shades of Grey relationship? with the real Helen Mirren. <laughs> really? Is that weird? Let's talk that... about Fifty Shades of Grey for a minute. Yeah, I know. You were into, very into it. Yeah. I've not seen it, Lo but I know you... It. Yeah. Loved it. Wonderful piece. About a 21-year-old virgin in New York City. Yep. So it's fiction. Well, I'm just pitching, and stop me if, if I'm... I watched the film the other night. Stop me if I'm, All over, by myself. If I'm oversharing. <laughs> All right. But like uh, we learn about Felix that he's got like a red room in the back. Is this what we call it? Sure. Red, or the circus the room? Playroom. The playroom. So Felix has like a playroom. And Helen Mirren's in New York, and she's doing a play or something like that. Helen Mirren's going to see this, you know. And it's Helen Mirren's going to see her Google Hangout. <laughs> yeah. She's a big Google I'm going to tell you right now, the chances of Helen Mirren just broing out, cracking open a Schlitz, and watching our Google Hangout are... You know, she's not from around here. <laughs> or what? She's from Great Britain. 50%? Yeah, she's watching. <laughs> so, okay, that's my pitch for the second season. We Felix has a playroom. <laughs> this girl in Fifty Shades of Grey will do anything this guy thinks of. Anything. Either that or I was I was thinking you might get to see Felix juggling. One of my favorite films of the year. You might see a little bit more juggling from Felix. I also love the book, mm -hmm. Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, on a different path here. I, 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 that's yeah. what I'm trying to follow them yeah. both, but they're, yeah. they're both very yeah. valid paths. Yeah, three yeah. books. Three. Read them all. Did you? Yep. Wait, how do you find the time? One, how do you find the time to read three books of Fifty Shades of Grey? And you're like, really? Doing you a sitcom, you? baby. <laughs> you got nothing but time. And you're a fast reader. You're a product of good Canadian schools. I do. I oh, do. I read true. quite quickly. Yeah. It's yeah. a brisk, so I read it's like a brisk one Canadian read. But I can stop talking about Fifty Shades of Grey now <laughs> if you'd like me to. We could continue on. We could also talk about juggling. Mm -hmm. you're, you're I watched cool. it fully nude. <laughs> no I clothing we'll, on. We'll probably Felix, see Felix do some juggling next year. Sure. Not that I'm you not know, trying I can, to force I it. Can I know juggle. you're an executive producer. I can juggle. Can so you then really? we just start doing some partners. We can both do it. Are you for real? I can, can juggle. juggle. Not fire. I wish I had like Again, oranges or something. Canadian. But I can you juggle. Show things. me your juggle skills. Sure, I can do it. Um, <laughs> but you, this guy can do anything. I gotta talk. That was actually one of the questions that we got. Mm -hmm. um, Anna Cecilia Weber wanted mm -hmm. to know how much yoga you practice per week because that was impressive. And, and Lindsay's yoga looked really good. No, hers is really good. Hers is actually way better than mine. Lindsay's great at yoga, and you can tell she's super. She's got those really strong arms and stuff. Um, I uh, have actually been uh, uh, slacking off of yoga for a while. Oh yeah, yeah. I felt like you were probably going to yell at me about it, but I, I haven't been as much as I would like to be. But I'm good at going upside down because I'm kind of little. Why would I yell at you? For I was that? that was kind of a good. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, I can't imagine ever yelling at this trainer. man. No. <laughs> uh, but I'm I think if anything, he needs to take it easy. Making me look bad. He's got arms the size of Nicaragua. I was overworking out for a little while. A little bit. Show. A little bit. I get up real early. Yeah. And then I just start. Just lift things. Just start lifting things. Tables, couches. Cars that have fallen on children. Or, you know, uh, I mean, I just kind of patrol, I mean, the streets at night, basically. My <laughs> theory on like weights yeah. is that they're very heavy yeah. and should just be left where they are. You got a gym in your house. I've seen the gym in your house. I have a gym in my house. I started working out with a trainer. I saw. Oh, wow. I saw you tweeted about it. Did I? Yeah. Oh. I bragged so about going it. going to the gym for the first time in two years. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, that it was a crazy. humble brag. It was a Oh, humble yeah. Brag. You yeah. just got to descend one of those every two years, and then you're like, done. done. That's my style, go. too. Right. That's how it goes. Um, I wanted to ask a little bit about the guest stars that you've had this season. Um, you've had some really great ones, but who would you want to see in season two? Since we know it's happening, it's an established Jack Nicholson, mm -hmm. F. Murray Abraham. <laughs> F. Murray Besides Abraham. Helen Mirren. 
uh, well, okay. I mean, spoiler alert, Helen Mirren, obviously. <laughs> um, oh boy, there'd be a lot of great people. I mean, that's the fun of the world of the odd couple is like filling out the New York that these people live in, which I think the Weird Al and Regis episode is like a perfect example of like. Mm -hmm. And different oh, athletes, a lot of these. different athletes come on. Maybe Wayne Gretzky could come on. Wayne Gretzky told me that he would come to the set. Yeah. Because he wants to watch us. Oh, fun. He didn't say he would necessarily be on the show. The great one. The great one. You think that I don't know his nickname, but I do. No. Whenever sports guys, and I'll call them sports guys, come by the show, I don't know Athletes. who they are. Sports guys. Sports guys. I don't. I generally don't know who they are. That's true. Except that they look more fit than everybody else around. Not you. Mm -hmm. You look fit like an athlete. Yeah, but I'm just little and weird. <laughs> you could be a really fast left winger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is a left winger? It's a left winger in a hockey. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's Sorry. right. Sorry. No problem. I'm sorry. Um, so this season, you, you know, our show's on right now. It is on right now. Yeah. Yes. So but what are you doing can, watching this? Can but you can have this. this up. You could also have this on the like over on the side. You can watch both simultaneously. Yeah. Oh yeah. Simulcast. The, yeah. the double screen. And, the mean, and be blasting like like a live fish concert in the middle, so you can't hear anything that's happening. Hmm. That'd be, I think, the ideal scenario. You yeah, the, the three. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, fish. Yeah. Fish. Mm -hmm. So also you all are fun card game. <laughs> Sorry. I love fish. It's a great thing. Yeah. I, I will not argue with that. That's Thank fantastic. Um, during hiatus, what are you all up to? Are you working on some other projects? Are you everything uh, I'm doing mostly involves oil mm -hmm. of some kind, like okay. hot oil. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, grapes oil like has Texas no oil. trans fats whatsoever. I know. So if you're gonna do, you don't have to tell me twice. You know, sister. If you're doing weird stuff with oil, <laughs> yeah. I, most of the stuff I'm gonna do is gonna involve mm -hmm. hot oil. Hot oil. Yeah. Okay. You you have been reading a lot of Fifty Shades of Grey. I have been. Not really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, caning. They do some caning in Fifty Shades of Grey. Do they? Yeah. They really? Do. Yeah. That sounds like a bummer now. And a hundred million women bought this book. Mm -hmm. Let's change that. Women are weird. Yeah. Um. So so when we come back next season, are there mm -hmm. any people from other CBS shows that you would like to see on the, on Odd Couple? LL. <gasps> I think LL yes. Cool J finds Felix stumbles into some kind of like. I gotta find a hand. You know, I have a theory that LL crazy. Cool J, LL stands for Lisa Loeb. <laughs> you know what it stands for? I know what it stands no. for. Another thing you wouldn't know about me, you wouldn't know that Tom Lennon knows the great one about Wayne Gretzky. Mm -hmm. And LL is one of the best abbreviations ever. It stands for Ladies Love. Really? Yeah. Ladies Love Cool James. That's right. what LL Cool J stands for. Wow. Where do I accept my award? True. For uh, yeah. knowing things that you didn't expect. That's fantastic. That Thanks. is fantastic. I need to ask one question about sure. um, your characters because you okay. know we characters we play. The characters mm -hmm. you play. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, over the the season, we've seen like you know different aspects of their personalities come up. And they they obviously get, what what still what do you still wonder about these characters and what do you want to learn in second season when it gets picked up? My, I just keep repeating it because I'm hoping we're brainwashing. Yes, mm -hmm. my favorite thing about Oscar is the sort of hidden heart of him and how he sort of longs for his ex-wife. So I hope we see more of that. And that would mean that Lauren Graham would come on again, and that would be great. That'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys kiss in the show? I'm trying to remember. You do? Mm, no. You don't? No. You sure? We do things, but we don't kiss. <laughs> I don't think we kiss. I think you I think you do. I yeah. don't think so. Okay. Maybe. Maybe, okay, maybe not. No, good. Know. So now we're not spoiling it because we don't know. We can't remember. Yeah. I don't think we kiss. Okay. We'll find out. We can't well, say that's season two. There's surprises oh, all, there's all, all over the episodes. There's all kinds of twists and turns. And Thomas, what do you what do you still want to learn about? Uh, what do we want to learn about Felix? Uh, I guess we want to see more of this great posture of his, which has been pretty amazing. You've got great one. posture. I'm leaning. I'm leaning you know what's forward. weird? Terrible. I didn't have good posture until I started playing Felix. Really? And then I started standing up much straighter. And in fact, nights when I go home after tapings. Uh, I try to figure out why I feel so weird. No, oh. and it's because I've been standing up straight for like. Five Maybe hours. I hunch over because I'm playing Oscar. Yeah, I'm I'm doing a lot more of this sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, hello, Oscar. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Very uptight. Mm -hmm. Super uptight. Yeah. And I kind of operate from here like this. Yeah. Uh, what do we learn about Felix? Um, I think you answered that question. Yeah. I, I've also I would like to see uh, Felix in uh, the Baker Street Irregulars, which is something I've been pitching for a while, which is the uh, the people that. Uh, or devotees of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I think that would be a fun thing for Felix. Um, I think Felix maybe longing for Emily would be nice to see. Yeah, I think. Like, twist on 
Switch it up. Yeah. Exactly. Switch it up. I think uh, maybe Felix takes Oscar to a Renaissance fair. I think would be fun. <laughs> that would be funny yeah. for me. I think that would be fun times because I would hate that. I'd get some <laughs> tights and stuff. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah. yeah, I would not wear that. No, no, I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's a good time. Well, you're an executive producer. You can say you can say yay or nay. I know. A bit. Yeah. I know, and I just need something right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I think that idea is great. But I'm just not going to wear tights. Me with a loot, walking, we're walking around, and like you got the thing of meat. I think there's, we could be good times. Could be. I'm there. carrying a big, yeah. like leg of chicken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it mutton? Okay. Oh, yes, sure. yes. Um, late night foul pals wants to know uh, if you watched the original Odd Couple, and I want to know if you would ever adapt one of the existing episodes into like the show. Like the library. I know Hawaii Five O did that one. The library is available to us, uh, so we can. We have not as of yet, and I think we're trying to do our own thing. So I don't think we'll really do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are the what? Are, how do you balance that, especially as a producer, someone who's also written <clears throat> some episodes? And um, how do you balance sort of the the homages to the new, to, or to the old one, and and incorporate and trying to be your own thing? I think they're fun it. little hint things, like mm -hmm. in the first episode, I imitate Walter Matthau a little bit, and little mm -hmm. tiny things like that, which are homages. But then, if you take whole story ideas, then that's different. That's sort of just that's actually amazing. that's weirdly what they did with the new odd couple. With, uh, that is uh, what they Ron did. Glass. They did the original script, mm -hmm. which was uh, you would name the Felix character, which was weird. Yeah, not the Demond yeah. Wilson. Uh, of course, I would. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's who I relate to. Uh, sure. Clearly, I relate to Felix. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe it'd be fun to do like one, like you know, like a couple years in, we'll do like. Do just do one of the old ones like live or something for just for the audience. Doing a live Ooh. episode would be fun. We'd be able to do that because yeah, sure. we don't make many mistakes. No, not really. Yeah. No. Seamless, right? Yeah. Well, now, what are your what are your opinions on doing a live episode? Because I know Undateable just did one, and it's like I think it'd be a blast. Oh, it'd be a blast. But it's I would mess around. I'd have to mess around. It's bit. not that different from how we do it, except you just don't get that second take, which is fine by me. I usually like the first take. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would I would mess with the system though. Yeah, I would say something you probably on would. purpose that yeah. was not great. And they'd, they'd find you. They'd, they'd find me. And you're a snarky person. I'm snarky. Yeah, you're snarky. You'd, you'd have to have fun with it. All the way to the bank, you're snarky guy. Um, okay, so we're gonna do a, a quick game, Ooh, oh, and game. it's it's the odd couple game. Okay. Ah. It's to figure out how well you all actually know each other. Oh, no. Wait, as characters or as people? As people. Okay. Any color you like? Is that the first part of the test? Well, actually, I don't even okay. understand. Okay, so is this a pen? It's yeah. It's oh, okay. it's a yeah. white. It's a dry erase marker. It, so am I. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask Thomas yes. some epi some questions, and you're gonna answer. You're gonna try to guess. We're doing this like a, we're doing like a like new, this new, newlyweds. Newlyweds. Exactly. newlyweds. All right. We're not saying that because it might be copyrighted. Oh, okay. that's fine. The, old, that's the not, odd fine. couple game. That's not. <laughs> okay, so come at um, us, newlyweds. Yeah, you got, I, I'm lawyered up. <laughs> I am lawyered. I don't know if I am. Oh, so. I am lawyered up. <laughs> okay, so uh, for Thomas. Yes. If Matthew could mm -hmm. sit down and have lunch with any actor, dead or alive, who would he pick? Mm. I'm going to ask you three questions, okay? Wait, yeah, I'm writing it, but okay. I, I know the answer. Okay. So uh, the second question is, what would Matthew say is his favorite thing about Thomas Lennon? Let me know when you're ready for the last one. I am. Okay. Um, what is Matthew's favorite sports team? He knows that. He knows it? I think so. And you can show your answer when you're ready to the camera. No, he's okay. not gonna. He's not gonna know. Oh, I won't look. He's not gonna. No, look? you know. Now you can show each other. We can see. We oh can, wait, he hasn't done any yet. Though. We can recap. Okay. I have written one answer. Oh, you did. Would you like to see it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you wrote them down too. I'm very wealthy. <laughs> is what Matthew Perry wrote. By the way, accurate. Uh, I have a good handle on what Matthew Perry is worth because you told me one day. Um, the answer. And then I are, asked you. Mm -hmm. Okay, the answers. Say. Do you want to say your answers so we can Fine, see how well he does? Seven. Okay. 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 So, so if, so Matthew, the if were, you could sit down with any person, who would it be? Woody yeah. Allen. Crap. Hint, he's living. Not Woody Allen. I said dead or alive. I know. I'm giving you one more chance to guess at what, <laughs> who you mean. Oh, it's who a dead person? Actually? No. It's a different living person. <laughs> Michael Keaton. Yes, Michael that's who you met, right? Yeah, but I've met him, Michael. Ah! That's the problem. It sucks. This game sucks. I hope the newlyweds <laughs> sue them. 
But Michael Keaton is one of my favorite people in the whole world. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. That would be um, okay. okay. So, what would you say is your favorite thing about Thomas Lennon? Mm -hmm. I'm going to say his sense of humor. Mm -hmm. I said either a sense of humor or his breath spray. Which oh, that's true. true. I like his breath spray. Yeah. <laughs> Let and me have some of that. If, that's, yeah, I knew that was going to come up. And your favorite sports team? Los Angeles Kings. Okay, Boom. so you got two. I'm going to give you two points. Uh, no, not to be fair, I got right? one. You want the hard yeah. stuff. Hang on, this is crazy. What is this? This is a... He's got a very intense breath spray that I like. This is a peppermint uh, oil. I don't know if you're supposed to put it on your tongue, but we do. A peppermint Whatever. oil. You just go like that. Yeah, watch. Okay. Careful. Ooh. Careful. Careful. I don't know that any came out. Okay, watch out. It's so right. oh, oh, oh. oh, see, and then your eyes roll and back I can in your head. I smell it too. Ooh, it's yeah. kind of like. Did you ever see that movie? Uh, it's death. It's like death. It's like. Why do you do that Remember to yourself? Rainbow? Oh, when he's like, "Don't bury me. I'm not dead." That's what happens. Why? Why? Because I want clean, fresh breath. That's so, that's yeah. very in case we make one, out. All right, now so this painful. is you're going to see what a narcissist okay. I am because okay. I'm not going to know any of these okay. answers. Okay, okay. About the, me? These yeah. are for you about Thomas. Okay, and so, I'll write, I write my answers too. Then you write your answers. Hang on, my board needs to be Oh, I didn't write any of my answers. I know. My board needs <laughs> I wrote them very well. <laughs> I can't speak. Which, but, but, by the way, in a way. <laughs> I literally can't speak. In a way, the answer is always I'm very wealthy. It's the answer to everything. That was so horrible what I just did. Yeah, I can't. It's a bad idea. Yeah. Remember how I had to go weep and go to the bathroom? I'm almost there. That's because I got some just right there. No, no, I swear. I'm almost there. I've never put that much in. I know. I have mineral water. Are you okay? I have Red Bull here, but it might make it worse. I don't think it'll help. Best of just kids, whatever. No, it's all right. Whenever you're in danger, let me answer the Tom Lennon question. Splash your face with Red Bull kids if you ever went in doubt. Got okay, it. I'm going to put number one better. here. Number one. Number what one. is Thomas's favorite movie to quote? Mm. Block your answers. Block your answers. Okay, I'm blocking my answers. Thomas's favorite movie to quote. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. What would Thomas say? Is Hold on. Oops, Hang sorry. on. Sorry. Okay. What would Thomas say is his biggest pet peeve? Ooh. Everything. I'm going to put everything. <laughs> Spoiler alert. And lastly, what is Thomas's favorite Matthew Perry role? Okay. Okay. So I, I got none of these right. All right, Thomas, please reveal uh, the movie you always quote. Uh, he's going to say Brazil. <laughs> just a guess, just a hunch. But I put. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Perry put uh, Night at the Museum. Night at the Museum, because is, he wrote that movie. Techni technically, yeah. That would be a good choice. Okay. Uh, right. So number By the two. way, every time you watch Night at the Museum, I think it's important that you buy a brand new Blu-ray of it, uh, just so you get the perfect... Uh, perfect picture yeah. quality. Picture quality. You, you, have, you have a piece of it. Yeah. And yeah. obviously, yeah. people always steal it from your home. People steal it from our residence. Just like buy, so buy new copies of Night at the Museum every totally. time you watch it. I said um, uh, Brazil, but you're dealing with my answer. Okay, and your biggest pet peeve? You put uh, everything. Everything, uh, I agree. And or clutter. Okay. clutter. But then I've got a couple other. I've got a couple hundred other pet peeves. See, so you were totally right. Yeah. I'm going to give you a point on that. And lastly, what is Thomas's favorite Matthew Perry role? You oh, said role. 17. Yeah, again. role. I thought it was rules about. I said you said rule. No oh, role. So rules? try to guess, but you just ruined it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I know what your favorite role is. No, not my favorite. Your role. favorite. Your favorite. Your role favorite of yours. Matthew yeah. Perry role. Yeah. Uh, What's my favorite role? Of yours? Yeah. Good wife. Character Oh, good I wife. like C. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. See, I do I know you very well. Also CBS. See? Yeah. It's a nice little Synergy. Tie Synergy. We should do a crazy episode where Oscar meets that guy. Oscar meets the sociopath. Yes. Did you ever see the the <laughs> the Sanford and Sanford and Honeymooners? And also a uh, Sanford and Son Red <laughs> the character met Red Fred Fox. Sanford met Red Fox. Yeah. They did that on the honeymooners. Too. We gotta do that. Wow. We should do an episode. <laughs> Where we meet the guys from Seventeen again. Yeah. Like, well, that's what why. I that? That's crazy. That's what, I played. what are we all doing on this? That's this? what I thought you. Would I would say. say this is almost first a round carriage. I thought when you said rule about Matthew Perry, I, I, I put, I'm sorry. Don't I, try to buy him healthy snacks. Oh yeah, oh. I don't like that. Don't I brought a prize snacks. for the first place. It's a duck shoot. I went to Target, and then a, a blue crown. So I want the blue crown. There you go. Thank you. Great duck shooter. Great. Thank and, you very much. And um, guys, thank you so much Can, for being great. This is going to be. This is going to be super awkward. Can I have the cash equivalent? Sure, it's like three dollars. Uh, I didn't. I didn't ask how much it was. I said, <laughs> I said, to your son. Can I have Absolutely, it? Absolutely, because yeah. I kind of like this for my dad. It's kind of cool. That's no, all right. 
Is this a blue crown or is this a sleep thing it's that you blue, sleep? No, it's a blue crown. Oh, okay. Blow it up. Thank you very much. Thank sure, of course. Much. Guys, Exciting. thank you so much for being such great sports. You and are thank welcome. you for talking odd couple with us. And Anytime. here's a drawing for you of a little picture of a house. That's very nice. And there's the there's the chimney. Thank you. See? There you I'm go. Keeping this. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm do I'm gonna do the poster for the odd couple. Guys, give them one there. quick shout out to um to uh tune in for the finale. Tell them when they can watch it, why they should watch May, it. The 14th. Tune into the finale of The Odd Couple on CBS on the date May 14th at 8:30 p.m. Central, 7 uh, 8:30 uh, Eastern, 7:30 <laughs> Central, and Mountain. And Mountain. I'm from Central, so it's a big deal. Yeah. I'm from Mountain. Are you from Mountain? Too. No, I'm from I'm from Central. I'm from Canada. Yeah, that's not Mountain. You sure? No, that's cold. Parts of parts <laughs> of uh, Canada are. Hang on. I'm gonna, See this I'm little gonna smoke coming out of the chimney in there for you? That's great. Yeah, I'm doing a really cool great. logo of the odd couple. Do you want to take longer? That is doing really it? impressive. I'm doing as fast as I can. Look at that attention to detail. Just wait till you see this. This is going to be good. Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Look, I made the. the this Aww. is the, spoiler That's alert. This nice. is the poster for the odd couple season two. Fantastic, we, we guys! Thanks for joining us. I just put an X over it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, thanks guys. Thank, thank you, you very thank much. You so much. Thank you. Yeah, no, All right, thank bye you. Bye. Now it's like the O 